Mike Wink, Winkle John's the kickboxing coach at Greg. I remember he was like, hold on, hold on, Rich. Like, <laughs> you just got hit really hard. And I'm like, oh, I know I did. But I, I remember, I was like, but I remember it. And I remember tumbling. Uh, so I want to keep going. <laughs> That's awesome. Dude, I, that world was so, it, I'm st- I still know nothing about it, but I obviously enjoy watching like fights and stuff and like just barely starting doing jujitsu with you has been really fun. I've been super eye opening. But my, yeah. my strength and conditioning coach as I was getting ready to go play college ball was Diego Baca. Mm-hmm. And uh, I mean, this guy trained all sorts of pro all athletes sorts. from every walk. Of, I mean, it was everything from UFC guys to professional football, baseball. Mm-hmm. He was and the, amateurs as he well. He was with Alford when he was New Mexico's basketball coach. That's right. And Alford was like begged Diego to go to UCLA. That's with him what after. I understand as well. He was yeah. at UCLA, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, anyway, the guy's like next level, right? And yep. uh, so I was doing strength and conditioning with him, and he comes up to me. He's like, "Hey, Hayden, I don't really invite people to do this, but you should." Because I'm always begging, like, "Dude, is this all we got? Like, can we do more or whatever?" Yeah. Right? He's like, <laughs> "You should just stay for <laughs> the next hour." So I did a whole workout. <laughs> I, I, was like, just, I guess I'd never knew that. He either. goes, "Stay for the next hour," because I got all my UFC guys coming in, and I was like, "Bro, I don't know how to fight. Like, what do you mean?" He's like, "No, they're coming in to do strength and conditioning." And I was like, "Oh, jeez." And I was like, "No, dude, I don't want to do that." He's like, "Well, what do you mean? I mean, you should always ask him for more. So, like, are you gonna stay and do more or what?" I was like, "Okay, fine. So I'll stay." <laughs> Uh, I've never thrown up in a workout until we started, do, until I started training with you guys. But you were in that group, and I just remember thinking, like, dude, I'm with a bunch of like UFC guys. Like, what is this? And that was yeah. the hardest workout I'd ever, I'd ever done up to that point. It was insane. I mean, yeah. You remember like a hurricane sprints mm-hmm. on the freaking Love incline them. with like? Love <laughs> of course you did. Love them. But what I really learned early about you was. One, we remember the same church, which is crazy. Which it was like, was, how did I do yeah, how how did that? Know, I heard, heard you speak a while ago in church, but I didn't rec- connect the two things. And then uh, also that you were just like, just like next level, um, like with fighting and jujitsu. And, but I was always trying to compete with you because you, you were like the one that was like, would win at everything, strength and conditioning related. Had so to. I always had to try to compete with you and everything. Had to. It was fun. An example of this was, I, like, well, I'll, I don't know why I remember all this stuff so well, but when we would do our warm-ups, right? Because our warm-up itself, anybody that came into that was like, the warm-up is a workout itself. Right? I'm like, yes. bro, Diego, this is not a warm-up, dude. This yes. is like a workout no before the workout. Yeah, it's definitely. So we, we would, when we would do the, it was like 20-yard kind of like movements, and all these movements mm-hmm. are named after animals, right? Because yep. you're, like, you're doing like the spider or whatever, and like the cheetah crawl. I don't remember what they're called. But... You would always, you and I would always try to do them the fastest we possibly could <laughs> yes. because I was just doing, kind of yeah. doing my thing, right? Because I had done them with Diego before, and then all of a sudden I see you like ahead of me. I'm like, bro, this guy can't be ahead of me. So I would start doing them faster, and then like two weeks in, we're like the first one done with the warm up, and everybody's just barely starting. But what I remember about that is, uh, is mm. you, I, you, you said that you had watched Diego thought that was funny, so he recorded it, and so you mm. watched the recording, and you're like, bro. Why I'm not taking my warm up seriously? I like <laughs> so you like changed what your definition of winning was because yes. you got mad at yourself that you yes. weren't that you weren't actually doing the warm ups like God, long enough. Them. Yeah, because yeah. you're trying to like win, right? Mm-hmm. Anyway, that's a funny story. I remember about that. 